so structure of the atmosphere so already we know hydrosphere lithosphere and all hydrosphere means presence of water lithosphere land so atmosphere the gaseous form so the atmosphere means the air is present around the earth so blanket of the earth so the atmosphere is thick near the earth surface and thins out until it eventually merges with the space also so atmosphere we calculate from the surface of the earth to the space level so from the surface of the earth to the space it will be divided into five layers what are the layers means they are troposphere from near to the surface of the earth then next to the troposphere is the stratosphere third one mesosphere thermosphere and the final exosphere so let us we see uh, one by one the layers of the atmosphere troposphere this is the lowest layer of the atmosphere in the troposphere what is the meaning of tropos in a greek letter tropos means turn or change what's the turn or change the weather will be changed in this layer only so uh, many times the weather will be changed in morning one weather afternoon one weather and evening one weather will be changed so the weather will take place in this layer that's why we call it as tropo the changing layer this one we called so the greek letter la change the layer extends up to 8 km at the pole so north pole and south pole from the surface of the earth to the space it's only 88 km in the north and south pole but in the equator it is 18 km so latitude abdin paakumbodhu so it's a 8 km in the pole area and 18 km in the equator area abdin solrom so the temperature decrease with increasing height so when we go uh, upper level the temperature also decrease so almost all the weather phenomena take place ella thatpa varpamu inge da mudivu edukapadigirathu hence it is called a weather making layer we said at the upper limit of the troposphere is called tropopause so appa 18 km la namba enna nu solluvom adha tropopause appdin solluvom tropopause next appdin paathana the next layer of stratosphere is started so stratosphere is lie above the troposphere it extends to a height of about 50 km from the earth surface so here earth surface to the space 50 km extends is called stratosphere abdin solla stratosphere is very important because the ozone gas is present in this layer so the layer is concentration of ozone molecules it is also referred as ozonosphere because of the presence of ozone gas it is otherwise called as ozonosphere so stratosphere another name is uh, called ozonosphere so the temperature increase with increase in height yeah the temperature will decrease when increase in height in a troposphere but in stratosphere when the height increase the temperature also increase so large jet planes normally fly here so the so flights and jet planes are flying up to the 18 km above of the uh, surface level of the earth the upper limit of the stratosphere is called stratopause so at the 15 50th km of the layer we call it as a stratopause next one is a mesosphere so mesosphere extends between 50 km and 80 km so it starts from stratosphere 50th km to the 80th km we call it as a mesosphere the temperature decrease with the increasing height here the temperature will be decrease radio waves transmitted from earth are reflected back to earth from this layer only so radio waves are transmitted from mesosphere very important most of the metros nearing the earth metros 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 ericercal so most of the metros nearing the earth get burned here so ulla varumbode due to the friction of the air the metros are burst inside of the mesosphere itself so metros meso very important the uppermost limit of the mesosphere is the mesosphere mesopause that is in 80th kilometer we called as mesopause the last one is the fifth, uh, sorry fourth one is the thermosphere exists above the mesosphere it extends about 600 km the composition of the gas in the lower thermosphere is more or less uniform so hence it is also called homosphere more or less the gases are in this uh, in the layer is uniform so we called as a homo uniform means it's a homosphere thermosphere other is called homosphere the upper portion of the thermosphere has uneven composition of gas the lower even gas the upper portion thermosphere has uneven composition of gas and then it is referred as heterosphere homo means same hetero na differ so homosphere na lower thermosphere is called homosphere upper 
thermosphere is called heterosphere. Here the temperature increase with increasing height. Here the temperature decrease with increasing height. Here the temperature increase with increasing height. Ionosphere is a layer of the thermosphere that contains ions and free electrons are present in it. So thermosphere is otherwise called ionosphere. Layer also present in it because the electrons, proton, electron, uh, sorry, uh, proton, neutron and electrons are contain free ions. The next one is the exosphere. The uppermost layer of the atmosphere is called exosphere. The last layer, uppermost layer of the atmosphere. The first layer is troposphere. The last layer is exosphere. This layer is extremely rarefied with gases and gradually merges with outer space. So this is uh, merged with the space, outer space. The zone is characterized by aur aurora australis and aurora borealis. What we call aurora australis and aurora borealis. So auroras are cosmic glowing light produced by the stream of electron discharged from the sun surface. So many electrons are present in here. The electrons are glow, uh, stream of electrons are discharged from the sun surface. So it comes from the sun surface due to magnetic storm that are seen a unique multicolor fireworks hanging in the polar sky during midnight. So during the midnight in the south pole or north pole, we easy to see the auroras. It looks like as a uh, glowing light produced. Uh, firecrackers. That's why multicolored fireworks hanging in the polar sky, they said. 